And I just wanted to say, I'll probably say it every time that we're not meeting on February 26th, I believe because of Purim and yeah. March 26th because of Pesach. So I just wanted to say in terms of introductions, my name obviously is Barbara Finkel. I live in Fairfax, Virginia. Um, I belong to Congregation Olam Tikva, if anybody knows anyone in Fairfax. Um, Who uh, was your rabbi? Did you um, lose an assistant rabbi? A, uh, in the summer. Yeah, Rabbi Ravsky. Yeah. Are you in? We got him. Oh, how wonderful. Yes, in Charleston. Oh, how fantastic. That's yes, fantastic. so far. We adore him. <laughs> well, I hope it continues. Yeah. <laughs> Me, I will tell him that. Um, oh, that's that's fabulous. Yeah, we miss him, and we didn't we didn't end up hiring somebody for this year because every, you know the virus hit right in, right in the middle of the process, and it just seemed so uncertain that we didn't end up hiring anyone and so we really we doubly miss him you know <laughs> yes, you do. he has just um you know he has twin boys now yeah uh, four and boys. um wow. they are doing they have seen more of charleston than i have and i grew up here oh. <laughs> yeah, that's funny so what else would you like to, so you've started our little intros. What else would you like to say? I I was gonna ask everyone to say where they are. So you're in Charleston, South Carolina. South Carolina. And um, did you wanna share anything about what Hebrew you have studied until now? Have you just learned it on your own? Did you have a bat mitzvah? You know, just anything that related. Um, well, I started in the second grade and I finished that in the second grade. Um, through the years, I have um, taken Hebrew through a couple of synagogues. I went to the College of Charleston for um, four years. Um, it was conversational and I couldn't remember. Um, I'm now currently taking conversational through Hadassah Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And this I have picked up more, I think, going back on my past, it's being recalled now. I'm recalling it. So it's really helped. Right, right. Any, I find any language that I learned, you know, when I was little just stays with you. But <laughs> I wasn't little. Uh, you know, I was in the second grade. But well, seven years old is yeah but i would i was the only girl in the class and the boys picked on me and i beat the hell out of one of the boys and i didn't have to go back anymore <laughs> all right well, that was it. top that um <laughs> sue do you want to tell us a little about yourself where you're from and you're in oh sure well i um i didn't have a bump mitzvah uh, my parents had a mixed marriage, so I converted when I was uh, I was right, right around the age of 30. But my dad was, Jew you know, Jewish. I felt, I just felt uh, I was Jewish all this time. So anyway, <clears throat> I um, I learned with the rabbi, conservative. So, you know, it took a year. And I, <laughs> since then, it's been like, that, that was a long time ago. I've been, um, you know, I just love the Jewish uh, stuff. I try to go to services in Minyan fairly regularly. And, uh, but now my daughter, I actually adopted a girl and she's 10. And so she's at the day school and she's studying, you know, they teach Hebrew as well as English there. And uh, I can't help her, you know, so frustrating for me. Of course, you know, I love Hebrew. And so I, any, any chance I get to learn more, I, I thought I'd just take this one, see how it okay. goes. Thank great. you so much. Okay, thanks. That's great. Welcome. <laughs> Rhonda, where are you? Okay, so I'm from New City, New York. Oh, okay. And it belongs to Orange Town, Orange Town Jewish Center. Um, I'm originally from Brooklyn. Okay. So until 20 years ago, when we retired, we moved up here. I had no Jewish education growing up. I mean, my household was kosher and 
how would I celebrate it? But I didn't go to Hebrew school. Um, so joined, came up here, joined Orange Town, a fabulous place. And I said, well, it's time to learn. So I had Hebrew classes at the synagogue and I learned the basics and I want to continue. Great. So that's my story. Okay. Well, I'm from Queens and I had cousins. My aunt and uncle lived in New City. So oh. I feel like I... You know Miriam Sukoff? Oh, of course. She's in the Orange Town Jewish Center. Yes, yes, yes. I met her um, years ago. She is very inspiring and energizing. And oh, yes, yes. Okay. Next will be Jody. Good morning, everybody. I am located mm -hmm. down in uh, Carl Springs, Florida. I uh, I became a bat mitzvah adult bat mitzvah around twenty years ago, but I've become very rusty on my Hebrew. You know, it's, you, don't, you don't use it, you lose it type of thing. And I haven't had time to take regular classes. I am also the Creative Judaic Arts Chairperson for Women's League International. So in case you've seen my name, this is who I am. Okay. With no makeup on. But I'm looking forward to the class. Great. Thank you. You're Adele? Hi. Uh, I'm from Toronto, Ontario. And I went to Hebrew school after school. Um, had a bat mitzvah, but it was a very modified bat mitzvah. We didn't, in those days, we didn't read from the Torah. Um, I just led a couple of prayers and had a very short little sermon. Um, I have a, a granddaughter who is four, and I would really love to be able to um, learn Hebrew with her because she's learning at day school. So whatever I learn is great. <laughs> Yeah. I do go to shul, though, so I, I know the prayers. <laughs> okay, fabulous. Okay, let's see. Janet? Uh, I am from Maryland, originally New York. Uh, I In New York, when I was little, I went to a workman's circle. That was a Yiddish school, uh -huh. and I went there about a year, and... Uh, but I was always active, not active, but attended shul in New York and then here in Maryland. And I belong to a dark kind that's uh -huh. in Rice's Town, Maryland, where Owen Mills. And um, I had a bat mitzvah from the shul. We took Hebrew lessons and we did, uh, we had a small bat mitzvah. There was four or five of us women in the class. And, uh, and I learned by going to shul reading. And uh, I guess that's about it. <laughs> All right, thanks. So do you belong where Kathy Latovsky belongs? Yes. Okay, okay, good. All right. Joanne, can you unmute? Good morning. Hey, Sally. Okay. Joanne? Yes? Can, yeah. Can you tell us where you where you live and a little about your Hebrew background? I live in Rochester, New York. I'm from Boston. I grew up at a time when there was no money for Hebrew school, and my older siblings carried on so I knew I didn't want to go. Um, so as an adult, I've been taking uh, classes whenever they've come up at the synagogue or at Chabad. I'm wonderful at the beginning of the alphabet, not too great at the back, but I do handle, I can do fairly well with a lot of the prayers, but not when they start moving along quickly. I can't keep up with them. Okay. So I need more practice. Okay. So that's, that's a good reason to be here. Okay. Yeah. Great. Okay. Let's see. Marsha, I don't, you didn't go yet, did you? No. No, hi. Hi, how are you? I'm Marsha Belgorod. I'm from Forest Hills, New York. Okay. Originally from, born in Brooklyn, grew up on Long Island. Uh -huh. I 
um, went to Hebrew school as a child, probably until about a year past my bat mitzvah. I did have a bat mitzvah um, where in those days, bat mitzvahs were Friday nights and you read a half Torah, right. um, which is kind of weird, but that's what it was. That's what I did, the same thing, yeah. And um, I have not been in a Hebrew class per se since my bat mitzvah or a year or so after that. Um, I am an, I don't know, irregular shul go goer. Um, probably, you know, most, most Shabbat mornings, a couple of minions a week, maybe. Um, I'm like, as somebody else said, I'm pretty good at following the prayers unless it goes too fast. Okay. <laughs> I'd like to improve my fluency. Um, I have done portions of half Torah in the last couple of years, uh, not a full one. Um, and I'm really just want to increase fluency. Okay, we will work on that. Thank you. I my my parents lived in Forest Hills, at, at, and for the last twenty five years before they they died. And anyway, I spent a lot of time at Forest Hills. My aunt and uncle were there, and um, so I went to Hillcrest Jewish Center when I was growing up. Uh huh. Yeah. Okay. Um, I've been in Forest Hills since. 1985 with a break um, in the early 2000s when I went back to Long Island for a few years. Okay. I love, I love Forest Hills Jewish Center. I love Forest Hills. <laughs> Vivian, can you unmute? Yeah, hi. Um, so I live in Medford, New Jersey, which is near Philadelphia. Oh, okay. And um, I grew up on Long Island, and I also went to the Workman's Circle School for a little bit. And I remember sitting with my mother trying to read Hebrew, and she got very frustrated with me. I don't know why reading English came a lot easier. But anyway, um, fast forward, I went to Israel when I was 18 and, um, you know, learned some Hebrew and periodically over the years have studied Hebrew as a language, and um, I could read Hebrew. I follow along on the service, but a lot of it is, you know, like what you know, and um, words that I know, uh, you know, I could sight read. But anyway, I just thought this may be an opportunity to practice um, the reading. Okay, welcome. Thank you. Uh, Sally. Hi, good morning. I want to first apologize. We had a blackout last night oh, no. and I didn't realize that it affected my computer. So I had a time getting on. Anyway, I'm Sally Greenstein. I live in Ackworth, Georgia, which is outside of Atlanta. Uh, originally from New York, as you all can probably hear my New York accent. Um, I'm very familiar with uh, uh, Muncie, New City, and Miriam Sukoff. She was one of my vice presidents when I was uh, region president uh, back in New York. Um, I grew up American, um, no formal Jewish education whatsoever. It wasn't until I married and my kids were getting to an age where I wanted them to know about their Judaism which I couldn't give them because I didn't know and my husband didn't have the time. So uh, we joined the synagogue and through the adult education classes, I've been trying to steadily climb that Jewish ladder of knowledge. Uh, I had a bat mitzvah uh, it, with an adult bat mitzvah at age 54, um, which was a couple of years ago. And uh, I'm now 79, so you can figure out the math. Uh, and um, as I said, uh, I just yearn for 
uh, learning and anything that I can do to, I'm a, I'm a regular shul goer uh, Saturday morning and some minyanim uh, now that we're virtual because I never live so far away from a synagogue. I live 16 miles away now, ramp one way. And I was always like two minutes, I could, I could always walk it. Um, and, and, you know, that's about it. I just want to increase my knowledge, uh, of the prayers and, um, you know, not necessarily speed read, but to be able to, um, keep up and learn about them more. Okay, great. Thank you. And let's see, Denise. I... Oh, ah. oh, there you go. What happened? Now we can't see you. Oh, there you are. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Um, right now, I live in Lebanon, Pennsylvania. Um, prior to that, for the last 14 years, I was living in the um, northern New Jersey area in Essex County. I had a adult mitzvah when I was in my 20s but the main reason I'm taking this now is that when I was in the military I had an injury and I lost my ability to decipher much of the Hebrew um, letters so now I can and I want to um, pick up some fluency again so. wow okay great well not great that you had an injury but great that you're here and <laughs> we'll work on your Hebrew thank you for your service yeah you're welcome thank you yeah May I say something? Yes, Janet. Yeah. Yeah, I'm sorry. Uh, I was, it was an adult bar mitzvah. I think I, I was 70 when I had it. And uh, one of the reasons, well, I, I do want to be able to read better than I do. And to understand, I'd like to know what they, what the words are saying, what they mean. And mm -hmm. I do, I mean, read along in the English because usually when they read the Hebrew, it's too fast for me to follow along completely. Right. Okay, okay. so we, we'll go over some of that, but just so you know up front, this is, we're not promising that right. as part of this class. I, yeah, I, I, I they, understand. They tried to make it clear, you know, um, but we certainly could go over what some of the words mean. There's no, and, and we have time so we can all look at the English together and you know, and, and figure out what, we're right. not in a service where thank, we're rushing, so we'll be able to do a little, a little of that, a lot, of, probably a lot of that, so, okay. Um, so we, I guess we can, we can begin. So I sent out, I don't know that everyone got it, but fortunately Sue is gonna be able to screen share for us. I sent four different pages. There are, on some of the pages, there's more than one prayer and we're just going to start and see how far we get. We do not have to finish the four pages that, you know, that I sent. And if we do finish them very quickly, if it turns out everyone knows all of this, we can, there's enough on these pages to, to continue beyond where I had planned. So either way, we could finish it or we can continue on these pages next week. So the first, okay, so if you want to put up Barhu on page 107, for me, it's 107. Um, I don't know which book you're using, Sue. So. Which book are you using? Uh, uh, I'm using, it's it's this Sim Shalom, but there are, you know, there's more than one Sim Shalom, so. That's for wait day or Shabbat? It, it's the Shabbat book. Um, okay, I'll be right You back. know, I have the, the weekday, well, might be, does any, is anyone using the weekday one? Would that, would you want me to get the page in there as well? Or it's just, for right now, we're just starting with Barhu, which is the first page of Shacharit. So if you can find Shacharit. Yeah, that, that's, that's what we, is anyone, is everyone comfortable just reading it on the screen without finding it in a book or? No. I have it printed too. Great. Okay. Can you rip, can you put up just a little bit more? Yeah. Till the end of Yotzer Or. Okay. Great. 
Okay, so I'm just trying to see if I can see everyone. If the reason I don't like this is because I can't see everyone with that up, but okay. Um, would anyone like, no, we're not doing that right now. Yeah. Okay. So let's see. I'm just going to call on people because it's easier than, I can't see all 12 of us at the same time. So, so Janet, do you want to just read the first line? Just, I just want to see, you know, where everybody is and how fast we uh, can go. The Baraku or? Yeah, the Baraku, yeah. Okay, uh, Joanne. Yes, I'm trying to find it uh, where I really can see it. Okay, so you can't um, see it on the screen? Okay. Oh, okay. Um, Yotze or? Uvo. No, we're, we're up to here, Baruch Adonai Hamvarach. Oh, the very first line. The next one is Baruch Adonai Hamvarali Olam Ed. Okay, and Gloria, do you want to read? Um, the next. Yeah. Okay. I do um, it much better with the group. That's okay. <laughs> Sally, do you want to read just that Yotzer or line for us also? Sure, Yotzer or Shalom et Hakol. Good. Okay, I'm just going to have one more person read that same line. Uh, Denise? Just that last line, Yotzer Or. Yotzer Or Uvara Hadsher Osha Shalom Uvara Et Hakol. Okay, so there are a couple of vowels that, um, let, let me read it and, and you can hear, see if you can pick up where the vowels need to change, okay? So Yotzer or Uvo Re Choshech Ose Shalom Uvo Re Et Hakol. Did you hear a difference from what you said? Uh huh. Do you want to try again? Do you want me to do it again or? You want to do it together, just you and me? Who are you talking to? Denise. Okay. So. Yotzer or Uvo Ray Choshech Se Shalom Uvo Ray. The two dots are A Uvo Ray Et Hakol. Okay, so I just, it, it, I'm sure that um, trying to remember now who said she wanted to, to know what, what we're saying. I think it might have been Denise. And I'm sure everybody does. I know I always do. So, so Yotzer or Uvore Chosha is um, who creates light, who creates light and, and darkness. So Yotzer and Vore. Are, are kind of synonyms. And if you look at different books, you'll see they try to, to, to translate them differently, but they are pretty much the same thing. So who creates light and fashions darkness, um, who makes peace and who, and we'll use the same word that we use for the first Vore, you can see it's the same word and fashions everything or all things or, um, you know, the, you can, so many ways to translate, et hakol is, is everything really. Um, so the thing to remember is that yotzer and vore re essentially mean the same thing, but they try to, to vary it. And what what is that it, again, yotzer? Yotzer and vore, can you see kind of the same letters as breishit? 
the creation. You see the the bet and the resh and the and the aleph are all in bereshit. Oh, got it. You see Thanks. The, so that's the root. It's to create. Um, so it's about the creation of light and darkness. Um, and one thing I'll just point out, it's a small thing, but it, it you might as well learn it correctly. If you, you see this, um, the, the, the line under the chet in choshech, do you see that? Yeah. That's telling you that that's the syllable that gets emphasized. So it's not choshech, it's choshech. You'll see that, um, you'll see that very often, but you, most people don't know what the symbols are trying to tell them, but oh. um, it, it's, it's very important for Torah reading and, and half Torah, and you might as well do it for the prayers too. I mean, you could see it on the line above under Eloheinu. I mean, we all know Eloheinu, but someone brand new who never heard the language before might want to say Eloheinu or Eloheinu. But this is making it very clear that it's Eloheinu. Mm. You see what I'm saying? Or even under Melech, it's not Melech, it's Melech. You see that? Oh that yeah. Making yeah. sense to, to everyone? I I see a few heads, but I as I said, I don't see everybody all at the same time. Yeah. So yeah. It's it's not a big deal, but it um you might as well learn learn it, learn it correctly. correctly. Thank you. <laughs> Because so many people, as you've all said, you know, really learn this by osmosis, and 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 if you learn it wrong by osmosis, then, you know, then you'll forever say it. Not that it's such a terrible thing. Wrong is a strong word, but this is definitely more correct. They're they're trying to tell us something. Okay. So, can I ask a question? Yeah. Um. So I, I'm still I'm still stuck on the uh, creating. So. Yotzer is a synonym with which word? Oh, the bore create. Oh, thank you. Yeah, bore. See, bore, bore definitely means create. As we right, but I mean, I don't see that root at all. Yotzer the, the, and bore. The vav and the resh for bore she, you see the, the vet and the resh. Can I, yeah, but that, but that iron in there, whatever it is, really throws vav, me off. The vav. Uh, yeah, it gets in the way, but that's the vav makes it a verb rather than a noun. It's yeah, it, Hebrew is all based on roots, and yeah, um, yeah. and then they do every word changes slightly depending if it's an adjective or a verb or a noun or if it's plural or if it's in the past tense or the future tense, you know. But it all has these same basic letters, and the. Yotze, but so like my the book I'm using translates Yotzer as create, and so then for Bore they wanted to change it, so they made made it fashioning darkness. But other books that I looked at last night had you know had Bore as create, and they use something else for you know they just they're trying to vary it. Um, but I, I'm just telling you that they're essentially synonyms, right? They, God created both light and darkness. And, um, and you know, the, the thing about any, any Sidor, it's, it's not a direct translation. It's, um, you know, they're trying to make it poetic. And um, you've, you've all heard the expression that every translation is an interpretation. So the words are not one for one, which is what makes it so hard for all of us who want to know what every single word means. But osa means to make, and shalom means peace. You know, you don't, you won't find that in the Sim Shalom book. You won't find makes peace. You'll find ordaining the order. You know, <laughs> so and et hakol, as I said, is is everything. You know, and and creates everything. So. Is there's let's see not everyone had a turn to read so if you didn't and and now my screen is not set up the way it was so if you didn't read before please tell you know unmute yourself and and start with the top line the bar who there's is there someone who didn't read before who would like to read the oh, yeah. well, I so, didn't. Uh, I don't know I have for good 
And who wants to read the second? I, I can. Baruch, Baruch Adonai Hamvarach Le'olam Va'ed. So you see the difference between Baruch and Baruch? They're yeah. not, not the same. Oh, so, I didn't see it. Yeah. I mean, I hear it, but what is it? How is do you it? see? Look at the first two lines. And do you see that the letters are a little bit different? We have that vav in there again that confused somebody a minute ago. <laughs> you see how in the first line it's bar hu. The 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 vav is at the end here. Bar hu. And in the second one, it comes in between the resh and the kaf. It's baruch. You see that? Who 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 is who is the one who is reading? I, it's so hard for me to. Me Vivian. Vivian. Oh Vivian, you see the difference? Yeah, I I see it. What it gets in the way was when you're like on autopilot, and instead of reading it, you just say what you think. <laughs> so I I know <laughs> that I see what the difference is. So I see okay. that. It's, That's good. I. Bar who? Bar Bar who is the first one. Right. And then the next one is Baruch. Good. Do you want so you want to read that whole line again, the Baruch line? Okay. <laughs> Baruch Adonai Hambarach Leolam Vaed. Good. Okay. Who else has not read yet? Okay, Sue, go ahead. Thanks. Um <clears throat> Baruch et Adonai Hambarach. Baruch. Adonai Hambarach Le'olam Va'ed. Okay. And you want to read the, the, the second, the bottom one too? Yot, uh, oh. Baruch Adonai Hambarach Le'olam, oh, it's, I'm sorry. Baruch Gata Adonai Eloheinu Melech HaOlam Yotzer Or Ubare Choshech Ose Shalom U Bore Et HaKol. Excellent. Okay. Is there anyone else who hasn't read yet who would like to? Oh, I have. No, go ahead. Which you line want, do you want me to read? Um, why don't we do the bottom, the Baruch Atadonai okay. Baruch Atadonai Eloheinu Melchalam Yotzer Or Uvarei Choshech Ose Shalom Uvarei Yetakol. Okay, good. Anyone else who hasn't read yet? Okay. I haven't, Marcia. Okay, go ahead, please. I'm going to have the benefit of everybody else's. Perfect. We're here together. Yes. Baruch atah Adonai Eloheinu melech haolam yotzer or uvorei koshech ose shalom uvorei et hakol. Okay. Great. Is that, did I get everybody now? Okay. Does anyone have any questions about this about anything, even no matter how small a letter, a vowel. Um, yeah, I, I just the because you talk about Baruch and Bar Baruch. And what's the difference is? Um, all I can do is look at the difference in the translation that I'm looking at. So Baruch, it says praise Adonai. And Baruch Atah Adonai is praised be Adonai. So I, I can't get us any further than that. You know, I'm not a biblical Hebrew scholar, but you know, I should have said that to start. I am not a biblical Hebrew scholar. Um, I don't know. I can tell you that the Baruchu is, um, it's, a, it's a plural ending. Like it's like we praise Adonai. The, 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 this you see the the vav at the end here that's um so that's the, so the, it's plural we praise Adonai the exalted one and the uh, the Baruch Adonai Lahirim El Cholam I don't know why it's praised be Adonai I, I can't I don't know I can't tell you I'm not going to pretend so they mean that, but essentially that's helpful thing. that's helpful it's like we we praise and then praised are you maybe. Right, but then, like, if you notice below that, it's also Baruch. Okay, so then the third time it's Baruch Ata Adonai. So Ata is you. So mm -hmm. the third one is praised are you Adonai. So there's three different ways of um, 
of saying essentially the same thing. Yeah. So do you see Atta? Do you, you know, do you all know Atta means you? You. And masculine. Masculine. And At is feminine. Without the He is feminine. Um, and what else do we know here? Melech. Do we know Melech? King. Is king. king. And Ha'olam is of the world. World. Um, yeah. Um, and va'ed, the alum va'ed is forever and ever, always, throughout all time. Didn't know that. The alum va'ed goes together, all the, you know. Um, what else is here that we didn't? Uh, et Adonai. Uh, so when you see et before a noun, it um, it makes it. Um, definite makes it like the like in English we instead of saying a cookie we say the cookie you know that you don't understand the difference what I mean by makes it a definite noun mm -hmm. it's not just some random cookie it's that you know it's the chocolate chip cookie sitting over there you know not any cookie I don't want any cookie I want that cookie so <laughs> so when you see et it makes a noun very specific so <laughs> it's, it's making it clear that we're talking about the God that we're talking about, who eth Adonai. Um, I can't see anything else here that we didn't talk about. Oh, say shalom of Um, Barbara. Yeah. And the word, the fourth word at the bottom line, oh, oh, say. Well, that's that's the final cup. Chosh, you learn choshech. Yes. That so means you... darkness. Yes, it's a final. Cup. So you, you pronounce it, you pronounce the cup. Choshech. Choshech. Thank you. Yeah. No problem. You never told us your background, Barbara. My background? Um, so I grew up, uh, men, like what many of you said, I went to Hebrew school after school. Um, I had a bat mitzvah when I was 13, but on a Friday night, um, and read half Torah, not Torah. Um, I read, I, I, I remember reading some other prayers at the service. I went to junior congregation regularly every Saturday. I guess most of us who were in Hebrew school, we had to, and I used to love when it was my class's turn to lead services. I would always you know, raise my hand and do what, you know, whatever else you want to do. I was always happy to, I just, I don't know why I loved learning Hebrew. Um, but, and I, but I remember my father used to kind of make fun of me and call me the Rebbitson, you know, and I, and it really yes. bothered me. And um, of course there was no chance for me to, I wasn't even like a, in the, you know, possibility to become a rabbi. So it wasn't anything I ever considered or thought about because it wasn't, you know. Um, and then um, then I really didn't, till I got married and started going to synagogue and regularly, I um, didn't do much with Hebrew, you know. Um, and then I gradually started leading services and reading Torah and reading half Torah and I'm a Gabbai, um, many, well, we haven't been in this, I haven't been in the synagogue in, in a year, but um, but I'm fairly fluent. I can lead um, mo almost any service, not every not every single service, but most services I can lead. And um, I don't have a fabulous voice, but it's good enough. And we don't have a can, I should say, we don't have a canter in my synagogue. So um, it's, always, good way. it's always lay leaders like me who are leading. So, um, you know, some people have very beautiful voices and some are like me who can just, you know, sing a little bit. <laughs> so, so that's my background. Um, and, and right, I've been taking conversational Hebrew, moder modern Hebrew for about five years now, just, you know, cause I really want to be able to speak, not just yeah. prayers and so. Um, Anyway, so I've picked up an awful lot, mainly through Torah reading. That's where I learned about these little details about okay. the reason why the line is there under Choshech and not Choshech, you know, things like that. I really learned from Torah reading. 
Um, because you have a very tremendous grasp. <laughs> Impressive. Uh, well, so far we've only done the bar who, so don't, right. you know, don't jump to any conclusions. <laughs> But, hey, but, I'm already impressed. I try. I try very, very hard, and um, and I will always tell you when I don't, when I just don't know. Like I did a minute ago with the why is one bar who and one bar ruch? I, who knows? So, <laughs> okay, let's see. Should we go on to the second page that I want to do? Um, the Torah blessings because the first two lines are the same. So we'll be ahead of the game. And I thought it'd be nice um, for anyone who has not ever had an al Aliyah would learn how. So Sue, it's going to be in the second link for the Torah service. Did you hear me? Mm -hmm. It's not going to be in this section. It, there's a second link that was for the Torah service. Yeah, I just have to page down a little bit here. One Page 142. Yeah, I, I think they broke it up and um okay. well are you using the links I sent or something you had? Uh it's uh, this is uh the link to the whole Sidur, I think, that I'm using. Okay. Yeah. But I'll just I'll get there in a sec. I'm sorry, okay. it takes a while. Okay, that's okay. I just the one I sent, they separated it out so it was easier. Okay. Really? Well, this is something you did send, but <laughs> but I don't know. But then it's not gonna be in here because this is just Shahari. You sure about that? I think it's the whole book. Well, we'll see. Yeah, we'll see, guys. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Let's Is see it, where we what are page now. are we up to now? One eighteen. Yeah, it's going to well, take. Yeah, go uh, with the other link. Okay, oh, I get you. I'll get you. Okay, uh, I can stop sharing for a second here while mm -hmm. I stumble. Yeah, you're right. Uh, yeah, I didn't feel like I was breaking any copyright laws because it's oh you're not no. it's right available on my synagogue website. Anyone in the world can go to my synagogue website and find yeah, no. it. So it didn't feel <laughs> it didn't feel my synagogue wrong. has it too. <laughs> now we make copies of it all, all the time. I know, so all, I know all kind of classes and I know, I know. I'm sure the publisher's thrilled that we all <laughs> oh well you know come on <laughs> this is important uh, you know i happen to have the book because um of shabbat services online streamed right so i can follow along yep yeah okay i think i've got it sorry okay uh let's see Does that look right? Yep. Yes. Thank you. That's perfect. You're welcome. All right, Sue, do you, does everyone has everyone here had an Aaliyah? Does everyone yes. know yes. how to have it? How to yep. you know the motions of going through it? So I can't see everyone again, unfortunately. So if you have not, if you've never learned how to have an Aaliyah, let it, let me know because we're going to teach you it. Everybody knows. Okay, so Sue I cried the first time I had no Leah. Who's who said that? Marsha. You said you cried. Yes. Wow. Because for a woman, to me, it was it, our synagogue had just started an egalitarian service, a separate Shabbat service that was egalitarian. This is about 30 years ago and to me it was a whole new world yeah how long ago about 30 years ago 30 years ago yeah so what is the first thing that you do when when you're called up what is the first thing you do before you read baruch Ed adonai humbarach because you tell it, you press the Torah. Torah. Right. Okay. Does anybody um, hold the yes. what do you call the, the scroll? Uh, the scroll. The eight I am. The eight 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 eight. Eight. Yeah. We do. Yeah. Okay, I hold it. Okay. We oh. Barbara, I just yeah. want to share. We actually have made uh, an atara we use for the women that don't wear a talis. Uh -huh. So when they go up for their blessing. 
their Leah, they can use that to kiss the Torah instead of grabbing somebody's t tallest for the right? kisses. Right, that's nice. Yeah, we use the um, the thing that they wrap the Torah, the, um, the binder. The binder is there always for someone who doesn't have, but that's nice too. Yeah. So, does anybody here wear tallies? Does everyone or somebody? yes? No. We do. So sometimes about half and half of us. Yes. Okay. Okay, so let's see. Adele, would you, why don't you be the person having the aliyah and all of us will respond to you. Okay, okay do you want me to sing it? Sure. <laughs> okay. Uh, well, I, I only because everyone says they already know it, so I don't feel like I'm rushing past anything, you know. Okay. 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 Baruch Adonai am Baruch Le'olam Ba'ed Baruch Ata Adonai Eloheinu Melech Olam Asher Bachar Banu Mikol Ha'amin Binatan Lanu Et Torato Baruch Ata Adonai Noten Ha'torah Amen. Okay, perfect. Um, do you want to do the after the blessing, and then we'll we'll all take sure. it? Okay. Baruch atah Adonai, Eloheinu melech alam, asher natan lanu Torah emet, v'chaye olam natah betochenu, Baruch atah Adonai, yotein Torah. Amen. Okay, so let's see if we want to figure out what any of this means. So the Baruch atah Adonai hamvarach, and Baruch atah hamvarach le'ilam va'ed, we, we just did. So then we have Baruch Atad and Ayel Hinnom El Cholam, Asher Bachar Banu Mikol Amin. Um, so Asher means who. So who um, praised are you Adonai or God? Oh, choosing from us. Okay, who chooses us? So Bachar um, is 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 really past tense who chose us whenever you see new it's the suffix for like a nachnu you know a nachnu means we right so, so it's we and when you and with bachar it takes the preposition bu which means um it means a lot of things but when you when you choose something it's bu that's why it's a share uh, who chose banu chose us me call me means from from all the people, you know, Am, right? Am Yisrael. You see Am mm -hmm. in here? So who chose us from all the people? Vinatan, you know, um, it means to give, no give. change. You know, do you know that? Right, give, yeah. Common word. So Natan, again, is past tense. And, and gave, gave two, uh, so Natan no, takes yes. lo for two. And gave to us, and remember I said et just makes yeah. it, so gave us the Torah. Yeah. See that? Who chose us from all the peoples and gave us the Torah. It's so much fun. Oh my gosh. I, I, I know this, but I don't say it out loud to other people, you know. <laughs> so saying it out loud to other people makes it all so real, you know. <laughs> I've never I've never done that before. I've never looked at the translation, the English. Right. right. But it is fun to be able to translate it. I know. And and this is all the same and what's great is this is all the same way you would say it today in modern Hebrew. It's not, you know, um anyhow, so I threw in a few things there when you see new you know it's us and me means from and lo means to um and we learned bachar and natan or you know to choose and to give and the torah torah you can see um, um and then baruch atadonai notain hatorah is the same who gives and here instead of natan you see it's notain so mm -hmm. the, the vav makes it present tense who gives Torah here it's gave and here it's gives you know who knows why let's see what we can make out of the next one a share 
Natan Lanu, um, so who gave us Torah Emet means um, it's like the Torah truth. It's um, it's two nouns together. We have Torah and truth. So it's in English we would say the truth of the Torah, you know. But in Hebrew they they like to connect nouns together. They it doesn't matter. They call them smichuts, and they they put a tav at the end here um, of the first. Now I, I'm going into much more than you need to know. So who gives us Torah truth and Vichaye olam nata betochenu. I know that nata is to plant. So plant vichaye olam betochenu. Um, I'm not sh I couldn't tell you for sure. I'm not going to go beyond plants giving us the Torah of truth, planting within us life eternal. Well, okay, so chai. We know chai is life and olam is eternal. So eternal life plants, oh, betolchenu. Here it is again. New is us, in us. Betolch is within. Oh, this is great. Betolch means within. So within us. And plants within us eternal life. Oh, wow. You got, got that? Mm -hmm. <laughs> That's great, huh? And plants within us eternal life. So I think um, it's almost a play on words that they have Natan and Nata. You know, they sound so similar, but you can mm -hmm. see completely different. One is one T and the other is the other T. Yeah, the gift of Torah. And one has an Ayin. They're completely different words, but they sound so similar for people who, you know, for anyone who doesn't know Hebrew, they sound, you think you're saying the same word a second time. So I will be quiet now. Does anyone have any questions about, about the Torah blessing? This is great. I know. I, I'm, I'm having the best time. <laughs> <laughs> so who else would like to have an Aliyah? Adele had her turn. Let's see. Sally? I've had, I've had an Aliyah, but if you want me to read, I no, will. Ever, I think we all said we did. So let's all just take a turn. Yeah. All right. Where do you want me to start? Or who at... At the beginning? Yep. Baruch et Adonai Hamvarah. Baruch et Adonai Hamvarah. Baruch et Adonai Eloheinu Melech HaOlam Asher Bachar Banu Mikol HaAmim Benatan Lanu et Torato Baruch et Adonai Noten HaTorah. Amen. Okay, so go ahead. We finish reading the Baruch Atar and I Eloheinu Melech Olam Asher Natan Lanu Torah Demet Bechaye Olam Nata Betochenu Baruch Atar and I Notena Torah. Amen. Hey, who else? Let's see. Vivian, you want to try a turn? Okay. Um. Bahu et Adonai Hamavarach. Baruch Adonai Hamavarach Leolam Vaed. Baruch Ata Adonai Eloheinu Melach Haolam. Asher Bachar Bano Mikol Hamim. Benatan Lanu et Torato. Baruch Ata Adonai Noten Hatorah. Baruch Atadonai Eloheinu Melech HaOlam, Asher Natan Lanu Torat Emet, Vichai Olam Nata Bitochenu. And I'm saying it because I have a horrible singing voice. That's okay. <laughs> One more light. One more light. Oh, wait, where was I? Oh, Baruch Atadonai Notein HaTorah. I'm also going to have to leave in a minute, so. Well, it's, um, it's, it's just about 11, but let me just yeah. ask you, what, on the line before that, after Torah Emet, just say that word. Where, where, where were we? After Torah Emet. In the last paragraph? Yeah, in the, in the middle line there. Torah Emet V'chai. Oh, so it's Vichaye. Vichaye? 
Yeah. It just, okay. I, yeah, Thanks. Just, you might as well, you know, you've probably been saying it that way for 20 years, but now you maybe you can fix it. <laughs> okay. Or 40. Okay. <laughs> Thank okay. you. Yeah, no problem. All right. We have time, I think, for one more. Anybody really, really anxious to have an Aliyah this morning? Yeah, can I ask one question? Yes. <laughs> when you go up to the Torah and you you kiss the Torah first and then touch the Torah. I mean, kiss the Tali first and then the Torah. Or the yeah. Torah first. Uh, yes, kiss the tali and then put it on the Torah. Okay. I, I'm fairly positive. And the opposite. Okay. The opposite. Yeah. The Torah first, yeah. and then kiss the tali. And then kiss the tali. Yeah. yeah. No, you do the tali first. Oh, so so half of us say one and half say the other. <laughs> and the final answer is. Yeah. I'll, I'll look into it. What? If, yeah. See, normally I'm reading, normally I'm the one reading the Torah, right. so I don't ha get to have many aliyot because right. I'm always the reader. <laughs> but uh, but I will, uh, that's interesting. Um, I, I always was unsure of that. See, I, when that's I- That's a good question. When I pictured in my head, I pictured kissing the tali first and then putting it down on the- Right. But, uh, but uh, but there's enough controversy here that I'll I'll check out check it out. <laughs> Thank you, Barbara. Yeah. Thank it's, you. It's it's Julia. Yeah. Hi. Oh, hey, Julia. How are you? Uh, good. good. I just I just wanted to jump on for a minute and introduce myself to anyone hey. that doesn't know. I'm Julia Loeb. I'm co-chair of the Education Committee for Women's League, and um, just you know wanted to say hi and and see that you're all settled in here and if you all have wonderful things to tell me about this class and about your teacher afterwards, teacher afterwards. when after yeah. you're done here just send me an email and i'll take any questions complaints or problems too but i like to hear the positive things as well <laughs> um, and it's it's just j loeb l-o-e-b at wlcj.org that introductory email, it came from me, the one that told you what class you were in, so. Okay, thank you. Um, and I think you do kiss the Torah first. You touch the Torah first, and then you kiss it, if that was the debate when I was just right, coming on. Right, right. Hmm? Touch the Torah first. Okay, so the only issue, you know, we had some issues getting the materials, you know, because I tried to send things by, attachments and some people could do it easily and some people couldn't and you know everybody has a different book and but in the end we I think we've had a solution so Good. and then once you're used to doing that either you know finding out how to get the attachments or learning your way around this door hopefully it should be easier oh sure yeah yeah will you be sending things out every week so I'll be looking for them yeah I will let you know every week what we'll be doing absolutely yeah. Thank you. Yeah. Okay. All right. So, Thanks, everybody. Enjoy. Thank you. Shabbat shalom. Shabbat shalom. Shabbat shalom. Shabbat shalom. Yeah. Okay. So I will send out what we'll do next time. We can continue, obviously, with some of this stuff I already sent, but I'll make sure we have enough. We don't run out. So. Thank, okay. you. Thank you. Thank you all. Thanks, Barbara. You any questions? Something's not clear. Anything? Just, you know, let me know. This is great. Thank you. Okay. Thank you. Thank all you right. very Bye much, you all, everyone. Okay. Thank you. Bye. 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 Bye